You know what we gonna do? What the fuck are you talking about, Dunn? What are you Grand talking about? Is available <laughs> to to Grand Central. Shut your candy ass up! You can't stop the candy ass up! Come on. Go f*** y'all niggas. You niggas think it is a game, huh? They got some f***ing joke? Ain't no fighting scenes. Like Man of Steel, bro. I ain't see it And clear of the closing doors, please. Yo, what's going on, you bitch made ass niggas, you bitch made ass bitches, you real ass niggas, and you real ass bitches. We back in the motherfucking spot, nigga. Crack in the 80s, nigga. You know what I'm saying? 101, man. You know what I'm saying? Not, not the TV show, man. Not 101, man. 101, man. Shout out to Kyla Pratt. Fine ass. Shout out to Kyla. She's fire. Shout out to, she's fire. Years later, still fire. Fire dire. Fire dire. And she got the guy and I'm yelling timber. <laughs> I'm yelling timber. I'm yelling timber. <laughs> Gotta yell timber around. Got that guy. She got that get. <laughs> I'm yelling timber. Nah, in fact, shout out to Kyla Pratt. Wow. The Proud family. Didn't they try to remake the Proud family? That shit was ass cakes and butter. He actually did. Yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible. My daughter, my daughter. Now, now listen here, listen here, crack rock lock for me. My daughter's 11 years old, right? She, I had her watch the old Proud Family, right? When the new shit dropped, she was like, Dad, this shit is trash. <laughs> exact words. From the youth, even the youth know. I don't even remember how I stumbled into it, but I just happened, I think uh, my nephews, something like that, somebody was watching it, but I heard the vo first off, Tommy Davidson, like, his voice, made that show the entire show for me he's like one of the funniest comedians to me like i always ever since uh and living color you know that's before a little before some a lot of niggas oh, time but man. bro he was like one of the funniest ones on there like the main ones wasn't that funny to me ultimately but jim carrey him uh jamie fox bro them niggas consistently made me laugh on that show, bro. Damn it, went like them niggas was like, like insanely talented. Bro. Legends, bro. Tommy when I Davidson. didn't hear his voice, I'm like, nah. Yeah, nigga said, ugh. I spit on your grave. Just imagine, bro. Just imagine Oscar without his voice. Like, like you can't even imagine it. Like, like Tommy Davidson has one of my favorite scenes in Martin. When he was on the the, the talk show, mm -hmm. kiss a pretty lady and sign mm -hmm. some autographs to Dante Vanton. Shaboing boing, Shaboing boing. Bim, bim. <laughs> did you miss me? Yeah, nigga Martin's ready to throw hands Classy. with that nigga when he took his what's up, what's up. That nigga was like, yo, what the? Hold on, man. Wasn't wasn't that the Jodeci episode too? What then he? I think it, I think it was. It was the Jodeci. It was Jodeci episode. episode. Yeah, when he jumped. Yeah, I no, he the end. Yeah, right, right, right. At the nah, end, that's Martin. crazy. Oh yeah, that's yo, crazy. Martin had them niggas on there. He had Method Man, Biggie. He had Biggie on there, bro. Bro, he literally had all the legends like on that, that show. That shit was like how Chappelle's show was when he just had all the random fire ass rappers on that shit. He like, yo, nigga had John Mayer. Like, yo, what this nigga doing there? Here, yeah, yeah, y'all niggas remember? Y'all niggas remember the old drunk lady with the fro that he used to have on the show? Not, not the old lady he used to be fighting. With the glasses. Yeah. The nah, other, the, there was the, the light skin chick with the her? curls. She had the short haircut. She's a comedian. You talking about Lunel? Lunel. I don't remember her being in that, but that sounds like Lunel. No. No. Her name was she was older. She was old too. She was a drunk. She was in the episode when he had the TV show where Charlie Murphy was on there. Charlie Murphy was on this on this show too. He was one. Of, he was one of the guests. Like not one of the guests, one of the people in the, in the, in, the, in the audience. Oh yeah, I remember Shorty. I remember Shorty. He nigga took that. Yeah, he took some ugly nigga mask off, son. She was like, "Put the mask back on. You bringing me down." Yo, that's shit. Her name was Roxanne Reese. I'm looking at. I'm sharing the screen. I don't know if y'all can see, but. <laughs> I forgot. I remember Shorty. Did she dap the nigga up when she yeah, said this shit? and gave him a pound? I'm like, yo. Yeah. She's... Nah, legit. Legends, man. I think she was a comedian too, actually, though. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she on stage right here. Yeah. 
Roxanne. Shout out to Roxanne Reese, man. Shout out to the legends. Yeah. Shout out to the fucking legends, man. Sure. Wow. People been asking. Look, number one search Google uh, term. Who was the drunk lady in Martin? Shout niggas, out to Roxanne niggas Reese, been man. Asking. I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> niggas been asking. <laughs> niggas been asking. I wonder. Let me see where Roxanne Reese is up to. I hope. I hope she's still with us, man. Let's see where Roxanne Reese is up to. Oh yeah, rocks that Roxanne's she still been doing kicking. Voiceovers? She been Roxanne's doing voice still kicking. She, she, yeah, nothing of recent that I could see here, but you know. Oh, I mean, she she's... was in Big Mama's house. She was one of the homegirls, right? Wasn't she one of the homegirls, or was she the one that was with the guy? I, I think they got into a fight or something like that in Big Mama's house. Right, right. She was. Wasn't she like? She she wanted the dude that Big Mama was with or something. Yeah, like that? yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out Roxanne Reese, man. Shout out to the Crack Rock La Familia. We back. We back, baby. We back. Hey, shout out to the old lady that Mar used to, used to fight with on the show. She was funny, too. Yeah, with the glasses. In the convenience store, they used to fight. Yeah, they fought in church, too. <laughs> they fought a lot of places. It's for a lot of places. I was going to call her Miss Pearly, but I'm thinking of Friday. Yeah, that nigga. Miss Pearly was in, it was in Martin. She, um, she was one of Shanene's, uh customers. Mm. Yeah, what was her name? That was when when Gina had to had to uh, give her a pedicure. She had them nasty ass toenails. <laughs> or... what, did it was it was this the same episode where she was doing her, the toenails and that shit like ricocheted and hit the camera and shit? That what was my... cold. Oh yeah, that was that definitely was cold. That was cold. That was her. That was that was, that was my, her name is Myra. That was Myra. Mm. The yeah, old lady? Was, the old lady from, yeah, from Miss Pearl from Friday. That was Myra. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's when Penene grabbed the chainsaw. She was like, you doing it wrong. Grabbed the chainsaw, <laughs> started wilding on her feet. <laughs> shout out to Martin, man. Shout out to all the classic comedians out there, man. We fuck shit, with Yeah, shout out, to, shout out to Mad Hoppers Podcast, too. We had Cole up there the other day. Uh, mm, my expert opinion. Nice. Shout out to yeah. Mav. Shout out to Mav. Word. And he had Donnell Rollins up there. We saw we spoke about Dave Chappelle and Martin. Look how I come around now. Y'all seen that Donnell Rollins special? I heard it was funny. It's pretty, pretty funny, man. Huh? Donnell, I said, I said this, this is probably a hot take. And maybe because I seen Donnell live and I never seen Chappelle live. Donnell is funnier than Chappelle stand-up wise in recent years to me. In recent years. I don't think that's too much of a hot take. I wish that niggas, uh, my son Pelly Pelly fell off. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think that's too much of a hot. That ain't that, that ain't a hot. Uh, I Chappelle mean, is a legend, you know, but his recent joints, every you know, every joke wasn't slapping the way it wasn't. His it wasn't older joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's older. Kind of effect. Yeah, it, it's he. I don't know. I guess he's he's older. He's much wiser now. So yeah, he, I mean, you know, his style of comedy is a bit different. Like you could tell, he's still. A funny dude, but like you, his he's. I think he's he has a different perspective on stand up now. Like if you think, like if you look at even like just how his style, like he cracks jokes, but it's like the way it's set up. You know, he's having a real conversation. With you, yeah. like with the, it with sounds the audience, more like right? a lecture. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's his new style of conversation and stuff like that. But right, right. But you know, Ashley Larry, he's you know he's man, he a Brooklyn line, nigga, punch man. Line, punch that nigga's line, a Brooklyn nigga. Yeah, I think that's why just... we fuck with him. He's a New York nigga, and we could pick up on that. His lingo and shit, yeah, like, for sure. His connecting words. You say like... son in a quick minute. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, facts. I play with me, son. Did y'all see the video with him and Corey Holcomb like fake beefing? No, I, I didn't exactly. really know what that was. I, I thought that might have been promotion. I'm like, does I did too. Honestly. Ashley Larry have a stand up coming on, and then he had a stand up coming on. He so. he said it in the beef pause. He was like, "Nigga, I'm about to." No, no, nah, I'm thinking. I, I was reading comments. Niggas was in the comments saying Corey Holcomb is at the Laugh Factory, and Donnell is about to have a new Netflix special coming out. Right. 
I fuck Literally. with Corey though. Corey, Corey is one of them comedians that I fuck with him, but I think his content never changed up. Which, I mean, if it's working for him, I wouldn't change my shit up either. But in terms of content, like, you know, he was always for like the shock, shock value type jokes. Like, like, oh my god, I can't believe he said that. Wanting people to walk up. Basically, you you ever heard about like how this nigga uh, Paul Mooney comedy used to be? R.I.P. Where he was to make jokes and shit specifically for people to leave the show. Right. I right. think that's kind of the vein Corey is in. Not as much. Because that nigga's still funny. I fuck with Corey. No, like, he's, he is. The, he's, the, the, the he long is. way. So actually, shout out to Corey. I actually, um, he, he, he has a podcast, 5150. You know what I mean? Um, yep. It's on YouTube. I, years ago, maybe like, when I first moved to Houston. So this might be was like 2017. So I'm still working on the road and shit, so I'm listening to podcasts heavy at this time. I He used to have a segment after they went to break, because, you know, they do it live and go to break and come back. But if you're watching it, they show you the breaks there, too. He used to have a comedy segment where they used to, well, comedy freestyle segment after, where they would have beats, and they would just rap comedy shit over it. I sent the beat, and he played, and they rapped over my shit one time. I was hype. I was like, oh, shit, yeah, I made it, nigga, yeah, Corey rapping on my shit. Then I threw my shit up on YouTube, and they fucking copyright, <laughs> copyright and blocked my shit. I was like, yo, damn, how you copyright my beat? But it was because it was they show. I was like, oh, that's... Honestly, it was a learning lesson for how entertainment in the business w- works. It's like, yo, damn, he owns that content, so technically I can't say shit. Even if it is my beat, but that shit was cool. Yo, get the get the pig off the mic. Bro. I think. I think <laughs> can I say something real quick? I, I just want to say, I, they should bring they should ramp up the competition in comedy, right? Like turn up the pressure on, like you know, like whoever. The ops are, because obviously they all clicked up, like, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Duval got his peoples. They super you know. clicked up in comedy. All yeah, comedians. It's, it's, like, like... it's like with everything else, right? Like music, wrestling, uh, battle rap, you know, like, what what we what we doing? Like, everybody is clicked up in some way. So, nigga, let's turn up the competition. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's turn this shit into some boxing shit. Like, we know it's all entertainment. You know what I mean? So, let's... Let's bring more of that to it. So, you know what I'm saying? Because I kind of feel like I don't want to. I'm not going to say comedy is like dry. Comedy is kind of trying to The ones that we love. Yeah. Like the comics nah, we bugging. love. Comedy is not dry. I'll, I'll stop that right there. Yeah. I, I don't want to say that because it's, it's, it's always like a whole nother like, you know what I'm saying? Like this always. It's the same thing with music. It's like. When people were saying like hip hop is dead or like R and B is dead, it's like, bro, what you didn't? I could play like ten artists for you, and you'd be like, oh my god, like you know what I'm saying? Like this, it's always more. There's always someone doing something, so you can't necessarily say that for the whole entire, like fucking, like you know what I'm saying? Like comedy is a broad fucking, uh, like genre. Like that's it's but, always mainstream comedy that dies, but. It's right. Because of how the Not necessarily. Ran. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I don't want to say too much mainstream either, because we getting Netflix specials like back to back. Like I swear we are. But I guess the ones that we mainly love, um, I just kind of feel like, you know, everybody is so well off. Everybody is so successful. But not everyone, you know, you still got the niggas like Mike Epps, like, like Mike Epps last special, uh, off on a tangent, but, uh, at the end of his special, I, th- I think <laughs> the name of his that. special is I'm ready to sell out or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like that, that was a last joke word. <laughs> yeah. That, that he literally spoke. And I think he's serious. I don't think he's yeah. like, it's, the it's nigga is tired serious. of being. He said, and, I'm, I'm tired of being a real nigga, y'all. Yeah, bro, niggas. niggas is, said the money ran out. See, yeah, bro, niggas want to, you know, see uh, more things in life, you know, experience more, have more money, you know, like everybody want that. So, uh, that was yeah, a funny, I, I, just, I, I liked his shit better than Donnell, if I'm keeping it, but Mike Epps, 
That nigga's just silly yeah. to me, bro. Like, <laughs> your niggas is silly. The Dino is silly. I don't find Mike Evans funny. I find him silly. I so y'all don't think Donnell is silly? I think that nigga is one of the silliest, like... Uh, yeah, he's And no he's disrespect, not, he's not in that way. I, you know, he's like a... He's a goofy dude. Like, that's why... I, bro, the... I'm telling you, bro, the goofiest comics is the ones that I've always, like, thought was the funniest. Like, Damien, Damien Wayne's... You know, basically the Waynes, like just because they remind you of niggas you might have went to in with uh, yes. at the school with or something, or, or yourself, or yeah. yourself, like yeah, yeah, yeah literally, yeah, yeah. like what when I was watching the Waynes brothers, bro, Sean and all, I used to be like, bruh, these niggas are literally goofy like me, like this is like I relate. literally, yeah, like. Nah, I feel that. I feel that. Shout out to comedy, man. Like, I, bro, I, I, I go to multiple. I say I could go to. I go to at least three comedy shows a year. Like, legit. Like, I need to. Bro. I need to step my game up. I'm telling you, bro. Shane Gillis, that's my guy. Like, I, I bring that nigga up as much as I can. Oh shit, he was just on Saturday Night Live. Y'all check that shit out. Ah, did Twenty One Savage performed. I right, think Twenty Four right, Savage right. can't perform for shit. Shout out to you, bro. But. You gotta work on that, my guy. I ain't gonna lie. He was up there with Brent Fires and Summer Walker. They did their song. Brent Fires was the highlight of that whole performance. Summer, I don't know what she was doing. She looked, she looked, you look beautiful. But the performances wasn't up to par. Brent was the only nigga that held it down. Shout out to Brent. And then he went courtside. He was at courtside at the Nick game like that same weekend. I saw a clip. I saw a clip from um it, and I've seen the comments and everybody was like, real comedy's back, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, it must have been really. Shane is one of them niggas, bro. Like, Yo, you know, so I, heard, I heard he got it? fired from saying that live or some weird shit like that. Oh, yeah. See, y'all don't, y'all don't know about Shane. You're not familiar with his game. Yeah, like, that's how he got on. He, his, let me just give you a quick synopsis of this nigga's like, rise to fame. He has a podcast with his, his, his homie, Matt McCusker, another comedian. Two white dudes from Pennsylvania. But not like... They white dudes around our age. We could have been in high school with these niggas. So they hip hop inspired, you know what I mean? But they white dudes. They white boys. So, you know, they get all the references. They make the references in their own way from a white perspective. He was getting a job. And he does skits, too. Like, he has a skit show that he also does. So he's from this, like, realm of skits and shit. Got the Saturday Night like, uh, SNL gig. Before he even started the show... They went and researched his podcast. Well, you know, you talking shit with your homie, you might make a slight racist joke. It ain't racist. It's just funny because you being silly. And he made like an Asian joke. His boy made the Asian joke and he responded to it. And they was just riffing. Shit was funny. They seen that. And this was at the time of like the cancellation was at its highest. So they fired a nigga before he even started the job. And then from then, his name got so popular just because of that headline. And he was a funny nigga. His podcast started growing. Then, boom, he ended up on Rogan, and it was over from there. You know, you end up on Rogan, your career goes up. But he's he's just always been funny. Like stand, I've been to two Shane stand ups uh, shows before. One at like a small comedy club. The next one, he was at a fucking arena. Like, is that the comedy game? Is bro? It's 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 some niggas, man. It's 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 some niggas out there. It's just you know what I'm saying it's. His comedy, he don't hold back in terms of like shit that most people now are like, ooh, you can't talk about that. He do it in a funny way, so it, it, it like, you know what I mean? It don't, it don't come across the way. He got Ch- Chappelle coastlines, like he he's one of them. Like like a Schultz, he's like really one of them niggas now. I I say y'all niggas check it. Y'all y'all will like it if y'all watch the the SNL his his sections anyway. Y'all y'all fuck with it for sure. That's my, that's my, and and the nigga follow me on the gram, so that's my guy. I go to bat for him anytime. That's 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 my guy. Drugs is in the motherfucking building. Bam, bam. What you won't do? Mm-mm, do for drugs. Mm, you tried everything. Drugs is here. What's up, my guy? Hey, 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 hey. Drugs is in a motherfucking building. 
all the pimps, the pimpettes, the hoes and the hoettes. You know what I'm saying? We back to do it one, one time for the one time. You know what I mean? We gonna do this up like w, WBLS. You know what I mean? Prime time hours. You know what I mean? Bitches, get your titties out. You know what I mean? Ladies, get your roses ready. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. Ladies, get your roses ready. Mars, what up, my boy? You know, regular Degler man recovering from a long ass Saturday night. Um, Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live for sure, bro. It was very, very, very. I had a great night. My night ended on a crazy ass note, but my homegirl got home safe, so that's all that matters, man. That's that's it. I had to had to had to save somebody. Yeah, the babysit. I had to save somebody. I had to make sure she got home safe and sound. And I got Tell us about up. the night. What you did. I had a high school reunion, man. Listen, hey. I, I encouraged all my people, get in contact with them niggas you graduated with and go turn up one time. Man. It's a beautiful feeling. It's, it's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And I speak to some of my homies uh, been, since graduation. So, you know, the niggas that, that planned it, I speak to them niggas often. You know what I mean? So it wasn't, Seeing them niggas was eh, what up, nigga. You know what What's I mean? What's up, nigga? You ain't not yeah, but everybody else, it was just like nah. You know what I mean? Like nah, this is crazy. And I'm glad to see like you know a lot of the homies got their shit. Everybody got their shit together. Everybody's gonna have their shit in life. You know what I mean? Life moves on, nigga. You got no choice but to. You got no choice, but some people, you know, they still ain't got their shit together. I fuck with that, like, so me and my homies, we got a fantasy basketball league, so we stayed in contact since high school, but every, you know what I mean, every, honestly, like, once a year, it seems like we'll have, we call that shit wing night, man. Nigga, drugs was at the last wing night, and this last one, everybody pulled up. Niggas we ain't seen in mad long. It was, like, 15 of us at this motherfucker. That shit was cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just so happened everybody was in NY, because everybody don't live in NY no more. We was all out there, shit. Drinks and wings, shit was cool, man. That's sh- it is do- it is dope to do that again, cause you know what I mean. Like, I don't know how much I would care to. Oh, I-, I can't say that, cause I still fuck with some people that I don't speak to that often. In my school, like, if we were to do a high school reunion, I don't know how cool it would be, just cause a lot of the people back then weren't cool, so. My school was rather small. Yeah, see, y'all, y'all, y'all shit was probably... My shit was small, too, but it wasn't small enough to where you know everybody and you was cool with everybody. You may know people because you were in classes with them. Everybody wasn't cool with everybody, but there was definitely groups, but there was no bad blood between nobody. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it was like, yeah. we, went to, we went to Slate NYC, which is a banging-ass fucking club, man. Like, let, me, let me tell you, like, the downstairs where we was at majority of the time, was like some, you know, they had little games and shit. They got a bar there, bottle service, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But upstairs, that shit is like the hot in her video, my nigga. So hot in her. Word, that shit is crazy. Oh, they got a 20 foot slide in this motherfucker. This shit is Fun Time USA. What the fuck? Word, that shit is crazy, bro. Damn. Shout out, shout out to that. Now that's what's up, though. That's. That's cool. Niggas was, niggas was in there drinking. Niggas was got liquor got liquored up. Bro, I bro, let I me tell you. I seen this nigga Mars on the ground with a cup of liquor. I was like, yeah, this nigga getting faded. <laughs> bro. That shit look like no chaser. This straight liquor in that Straight li- I had I had a few I had a few drinks. But I, bro, I had eight drinks overall, eight or nine. Yeah, yeah nigga was faded. Nigga was turning yeah, up. Yeah, facts. But I wasn't like bad. I ate. I made my me and my mother, my my my, my step pals, my daughter. We went out to eat. Yeah, you you drink responsibly. Yeah, I was good. I was good. You feel what I'm saying? I did mix. I did. I was drinking tequila the whole night. I but I did have a glass of some some henny and some rum. You know, henny and cranberry. Henny and cran. Oh, see, the cranberry saved you. If it was just henny and coke, you can't. That's that's where you fuck up. Oh, the, so the, the cranberry saved my life. Cr- yeah, cranberry is like an uh, 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 antioxidant, so that shit'll it'll dilute the henny. And you know what I mean? Uh, It'll kind of settle your stomach a little better. Crashed. I wasn't balling after I had that drink. I was yeah, like, what nah, the fuck yeah, you're good. Cran- you throw cranberry in any type of alcohol, this is the alcohol hour with your boy, 5 <laughs> Nah, for real. Like, cranberry cranberry juice will save you if you're drinking, for sure. That shit is a natural antioxidant. 
Should have settled your stomach down. That's why most teas, uh, like if you drink tea in the morning, you got like a lot of different cranberry flavors. If you ever paid attention, the amount of cranberry flavor, uh, flavor tea they are, yeah. or just berry in general. Berries is you know what I mean they that shit is good for your system. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Nah, hell yeah, nah, that's what's up, man. I I've never been to a high school reunion. We've had some, but I. Me and the homies, we like we skip them shits. We have our own high school reunions, like with the niggas we fuck with. You know what I mean? Or like yeah, like, not nah, facts. Like my homegirl wedding, that was like another high school reunion. See that shit like that is cool. You know what I mean? Like that was honestly that was like our high school reunion. All of the niggas that we fuck with, and then like her and her people that we you know what I mean through her we fuck with. That was like our high school reunion. Right. That shit was fire. It's yeah, crazy nah. when you think about how long I ain't, I ain't even gonna age us out, but we it was a long time since we've been in high school, was, bro. <laughs> bro, it was fifteen years ago, my nigga. I graduated high school, bro. Yeah, yeah. See, so me, I'm coming up on damn. I don't even. Whew. <laughs> when, when year you graduated? In 08? Shit, I graduated in 2010. So you sitting on you? You almost sitting at 20? Man, I'm almost at a dub, bro. Yeah. That's just crazy, bro. Yeah, but insane. everything was everything was everything, man. It was it was beautiful, man. It was a beautiful fucking night. We got two more link ups to do, and then after that, we're gonna we're gonna link up once a year and have like a prom party once a year. Oh, y'all niggas is doing this shit like the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. facts. Best of three. Not, yeah, you know I mean, what I'm saying? It's kind of it's illa for them though, because you know it's like <laughs> they class is a lot more intimate. Like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that matters for sure. Yeah. So you ain't got no fuck niggas, niggas is actually genuinely cool. Like, you know, niggas actually genuinely care about, you Like, know, the group of niggas that was fucking with each other in high school still fuck with each other to this day. So it ain't enough for everybody to just come together. Yeah, to right, this day! Right, right. You know what I'm saying? To this so, day! Uh, it, it, shout out, shout and out it's to good you. to know, it's, honestly, bro, it's, it's, you gotta be a certain type of person still, in my opinion, to, to do stuff like that and, like, you know, just wanna actually follow through with it um a lot of people you know a lot of people don't get along with each other and shit like that so but that's and that's why i was saying i'm glad that everybody seemed to have their shit together not only financially but mentally and physically that takes place that that takes place you know that takes you know that's real adult shit, bro. It's real, real adult, adult shit. shit. Yeah. Real adult like, shit. So I'm saying I'm glad that, you know, everybody was cool. Everybody was cool, bro. That shit was shit was amazing, man. It was really good. Seeing people, hearing, you know how people because before we got into the club, you know, we was, you know, niggas were smoking weed, niggas outside chilling and all that shit. Because let me tell you something. <laughs> I had my homies dying. When we got the the, the meetup was supposed to be at seven o'clock. When we got to sleep, my homie Tavis called me and was like, yo, bro. They saying they got a private event going on. This shit like is it's shut down. It's clipped. I said what? I get there. I'm talking to the bouncer. I'm chopping up with the nigga. I'm like, I'm like, yo, what's up with this? What's this? He like, yo, it's a little kid party in here. So nine thirty after nine thirty, it's, it's lit. I said, mm-hmm. oh, I. Right. So I'm saying, look in the mirror. It's little kids and them little niggas is dubbing. <laughs> <laughs> shit like Empire Skating Ring. What? Well, right, them niggas was dumb, but I was just saying. I told I told the homies that the niggas was in there screaming. Niggas say, "This nigga, niggas said these niggas was dubbing. You was looking at them, you creep." Niggas stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like now, nah, I just looked in the window. A little nigga was getting crazy. Niggas said, "Those niggas was doing like I used to do." Niggas yeah, was like, right. yeah, niggas niggas like hey. "Niggas said, grab a ball, grab a back, bro, grab a back." Girl, that nigga's in there dubbing. I saw a little nigga jump like a Jamaican. Nigga jumped off a speaker, nigga. And... <laughs> oh, yeah, nah, nigga. nigga hit a motherfucking that nigga's a nah, that was a frog of, splash. That was a bunch of square white kids. Nigga father rented out the whole slate, nigga, and, you know, this nigga threw his son a party at slate. What the fuck? Sh- shout out to that, though. Like, see, even shit like that. Like, my homegirl, I ain't gonna say it. So I don't know my homegirl Norma. Like that was that was my experience in high school. Like nigga, y- y'all ever, y'all ever been? Y'all know um when you go into the rock, you passing through uh what's that shit? Cross Bay. Yeah, and, uh, that's, no, that's that's where I had dinner at. That's why I had my mom's and my stepfather and my daughter. Mm. So it's still there. Y'all ever seen the spot? Russo's on the Bay, big ass event space. Right, it's like literally one of the last places on the left before you get to where you crossing the bridge and all them trees and shit. Yeah, yeah, facts. It's still there. 
Nigga, that's we. She had her sweet sixteen there, bro. In high school, we was like, "Oh shit!" This that was my first experience of like, "Oh yeah, I got a rich friend, nigga." Yeah, yeah, like she, niggas was in there. She had a fountain of chocolate, nigga. Mad shit, I ain't never seen before, yeah, ever, bro. Chocolate, a fountain of chocolate, nigga. Go figure. Shit was in it. Shit was shit was lit. Niggas had like a three course meal. This is for high school kids, bro. Like so that so him having the the whoever homie that was shout out to shout out to his pops man like Word. nigga nigga whoever was there they gonna have stories facts they gonna have stories man and like little niggas walking up hey I'm in for I think his name was Jordan here for Jordan's party bunch of little kids <laughs> walking up dolly no parent no nothing Word. the niggas is all probably now, from the at area the, too uh, actually the bouncer will ask him who y'all here for like he you know question him. We're for Jordan. The guy, cool. Those so niggas walked in. Hey, look at these little niggas, man. Niggas is in that bitch popping. Yeah, shout out little to the little niggas. in there dubbing, man. man. Niggas is wilding. Shout out to the little niggas, man. Shout out to, happy birthday to Jordan, my nigga. Your pops is a real one. Word. Right, shout out to jo- Yo, Jordan. Tell your pops get in, get in tune with us. We might have some business that we could, we could handle with that, with that, with that young man. Word. Pretty sure his pops probably like our age, most likely. Nah, his pops is the older white guy. You know them white niggas. Oh, be. You know, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, them yeah. white folks. They don't have young kids, nigga. Them niggas be having kids yeah, at, nah, at you're 30. Right, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Them niggas don't fuck around. Yeah, yeah word. Them niggas don't be fucking around. Hey, man. <clears throat> shout out. Shout out to life. Shout out yeah, to shout this out to life, bro. pod, man. Episode bro, 101. I wanted to give a shout out to my homegirl, Ashley, for puking on me. But it's all good. I love you to death. Yeah. So you got barfed on, bro? I got barfed on. Good thing she didn't eat nothing. That's how you know the night was lit, man. The, yeah, nigga, the so night was. Nigga, I was. Ooh, she was bro. fucked up if she ain't eating. I know that shit had to hurt her stomach. She was That's the worst. Fucked up, bro. Yeah. She was fucked up. You she bark with no food in whole, there. It's just straight whole liquid coming up. Whole, whole sweetheart, bro. She's a made sure she got home safe. A home girl. When I when our home girls put her in the lift home, I rode with her home. Made sure she got to the crib. Then I called my, I called Shorty. I'm like, yo, she home. She's like, I bet, bet. Send me your address. I'm gonna put you home in the lift. I was like, woo. See, that's real family right there. You ain't even got to see niggas all the time, but you know niggas still fucking care. Word, because I was in Long Island City. Like, how the fuck am I getting home? Oh, yeah, you would have had to take the 7 train, nigga, to 40 Deuce. Good thing she lived across the street. I don't know if I was drunk, but I could have swore I saw a bridge that was from, like, Long Island City to Manhattan. Yeah, you was drunk. Yeah, that was, oh, you was at Queensboro Plaza. Yeah, so I was gonna walk that bridge. Yeah, oh, he was right by my. He was right by my high school. He was by QB, nigga. He's by Queensbridge. Yeah, you on that side. Yeah, he was definitely by my high school. Look at how it come around, though. So I was going to take the bridge, walk. You know what I'm saying? Walk to Manhattan. Walk to Manhattan. Oh yeah, this nigga was so just looking to get robbed. Nah, it was. It. Yeah, bro, it was in Long Island. Yeah, it was like the new, bridge. It but... looked like new, bro. It looked like a new. It wasn't like a. Br- it was like a. Like a, a walk, a, a, a path, like a yellow brick yeah. road. Nah, you could you could definitely walk that motherfucker, but you might have got hit by a bike. Nigga would have yeah, pulled over know. and grabbed yeah. your ass up. Nigga, I'm pretty sure it was like 2, 3 in the morning. Yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I was thinking about. <laughs> so nigga Ma- nigga Mars was drunk in the city, forgot that it's still the towns. And, yeah, and you lit. Like I was drunk. I, I don't give you drugs. You know I don't give a fuck. I be on point. I'm just drunk. I know, I know, I know. Jeez, man, we know, we know. I'm about to just walk this shit, man. Fuck it, I'm going to take the train home. <laughs> Word. She texted me. She was like, y'all made it home? I called me. Yeah, she home. I just I just dropped off. And, and I ain't going to front. The Uber driver's a real nigga, bro, because I knew he was mad. She was throwing up in his V. Oh, she was throwing up in the V. Yeah, nigga. Oh, damn. Yeah, he. that's a whole c- c- feat. But he did. He this. definitely he charged her the feet. When I get downstairs, after, you know, the nigga goes, yo, bro, she left her phone in the car. I said, you's a real nigga, bro. He's yeah, a real he nigga for that. He stayed. He stayed. He's a real yeah, nigga. You a, waited for him. That's probably because he had to figure out how the hell he was going to clean that motherfucker. <laughs> nah, 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 that nigga probably nah, was like, oh, shit, it wasn't, he didn't do nothing, so it wasn't full throw up. But still, it's in his back seat. Yeah, oh, yeah of course, he was of definitely course, thinking about that's how he was cleaning the it levels up. of anger. The levels of anger wasn't at peak because it was like, it was just liquid. That's honestly kind of worse, bro. I'd rather clean up chunks because it's easier nah, to clean. Chunks stink. It stink, but it's easier to clean. The liquid, you might not even know where it's at. 
Unless it's colored, unless she was drinking like hot hip hypnotic. Or it was some straight. Shit. It was. I was. I was giving her water. I was. You know. You ride the boat. Yeah. yeah. I was giving her water, so she was just throwing mm, up water. Mad water. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, mad water, yeah. bro. It was mad water. So she was. You know what that hurt. Like, you feel like you're gonna die. Yeah, your stomach is like inside out at that point. That's yeah. why I wasn't. That's why I wasn't mad. I'm. I was tight, but I'm like, you know what. Fuck it. it ain't, I mean, it ain't, you, you you can't be mad. It's your home girl. It's love. Girl. Yeah, you can't be. Mad. I ain't get no throw up food on my EVs. I was content. Oh yeah. See, there you go. Not on the EVs. Not on the EVs, my nigga. Oh man. Yo. You know um, y'all, y'all. Uh, my bad. I ain't mean to cut you off. You was you said you were still going. Oh no, I got home and I got home like three, four o'clock, and my daughter stayed up waiting for me to get home. So shout out to her for that. Oh yeah, she had to make sure Pops was in the crib, nigga. Well, she was about to go out and ride, nigga. Yeah, once she once I got in the crib, she went right. She's like, "Oh, you home? Okay, well, I'm going to sleep." Like, all right, my nigga, good looking. That's what's up. Let me in the crib and all that. That's what's up. That's what's up. Shout out, shout out, shout out to family. Word, facts, facts. It was it was had the time, man. Had the time. That's what's up. I mean, shit. Speaking, speak. I mean, we could. We could go into. I was telling y'all niggas before last part. I wanted y'all to guess what our top five view city was on YouTube. You know what I mean? The pod, crack rock, La familiar. We got fans. We got people that support us out here. You know what I mean? We got merch. We got merch too. You know what I mean? Y'all gonna hear some more. Y'all gonna hear some more about that real soon. Real soon. Yeah, you know I mean, y'all gonna hear more about that. But what y'all think our top five cities are? I'm gonna give you the first one. Obviously, is the town. It's NY by a lot. But what y'all think? Four through five is. This this is global too now. Don't just think just city it's the world, like Craig. Podcast? Yeah, most view like from YouTube. So we got seventy five thousand views right now on YouTube. Where do you think the top five came from? And num- number one is NY. What do you think? Number two would probably be LA. Wow, this nigga got that shit right on the money. Keep going. <laughs> Wait, number you three. talking about viewers for from? How old you? You said how old? Yeah, for the for the pod, for us, nigga. Okay. Two is LA. Three is uh the South, somewhere in the South. I'm a, I'm gonna let you do your five, and then let drugs do his five, and I'm gonna let you know for sure. Somewhere in the South, number four, probably. Wait, give Denver. a state, nigga. Give a state. Don't just say somewhere in the South. That's Atlanta. Nice. Okay. Number 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 four, Denver. Five. Number five. Number five. Probably like motherfucking Alaska, Colorado, or something. I don't know. Alaska. I said Denver and Colorado. It's the same shit, nigga. Ah, right, you said New York, L.A., Atlanta. Denver and Alaska. That's okay. What you think, drugs? New York is first, obviously. Yeah. By, by a I long guess shot. LA automatically in there too. Yeah, LA uh, is too. He got I said that. That's so New York, LA number one and two. Uh I'm gonna go I'm actually gonna go Texas, somewhere in Texas. We got we need we need a specific city. Oh, okay. Uh Houston. Houston. Okay. Four. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say like Pennsylvania. What uh, city? Shit. I mean, it ain't. I don't you know. You go Pittsburgh or Philly. It ain't really meant other. I guess. Yeah, I guess. Ah, uh, no, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to say Philly. Maybe. Like the DMV, I'm gonna say DMV. Damn, all right, fuck it. I give you the DMV. I I give you DMV. Fuck it. What you yeah, got for number five? Go um, number five. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go back on the West Coast. Maybe like Arizona, like Phoenix, like that. Phoenix. Damn. Damn, y'all niggas is all off. I mean, y'all got Mars got LA number two. So New York is number one, you know what I mean? That's like should be obvious. Number two, L.A. Number three, I was surprised. I thought number three would be, you know, Houston. You know what I mean? Just off of the strength of me, but number three is Chicago. 
Chicago. Illinois. Yeah, bro. That's fire. Shout to shout to shout to all my Chicago niggas out there. Shout out to Shout to Shot Town. Shout out to Shot Town. Shout out to all y'all, man. Shout out to the GD. Shout out to the BDs. All y'all Word. niggas. Man. Shout out to all y'all niggas. Facts, 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 facts. O Block. You know what I mean? O Chicago Block. PD. All y'all Chicago niggas, PD. man. That's crazy. My nigga Voight. All y'all. Word. My nigga Voight. Facts. You know, you're under arrest <laughs> selling crack on my block. <laughs> yeah, that's fire, bro. The hood. Chicago that's 3. Hard. Number All four right, is number four. number four is H Town. Houston is four. There we okay. go. Okay. And number five is Dallas. Oh, oh I knew okay. it was. Te- I wanted to stay in Texas. I should have said. Yeah. And then I- I'm gonna just give y'all five through ten, just because these are some fire cities I wouldn't expect. Six is Atlanta. Seven okay, is- I was up there. Yeah, seven is Philly. There you go. Okay, shout out to my Philly niggas. Eight, eight is Baltimore. Oh, my mm. B-more niggas. This is I the hood for real. Already, it's the hood for real, bro. <laughs> bro, I already knew it was, like, from the DMV on, like, you know what I'm saying? Pennsylvania, Philly, mm. uh, that's, that's like, my Ray all Lewis of that. Like, I'm surprised. Uh, Mike, he did Jersey in this shit. Nah, Jersey ain't no way on this motherfucker. Oh, shout okay, to, okay. Shout, yeah, we killed Jersey. I'm about to say, we got a whole video dissing them niggas. <laughs> yeah, right, we killed number Jersey. Number nine, number nine, London, mate. All the mandem. All the mandem? All the mandem, number nine. Mandem? The mandem on the on the road. Bro. All serious, my niggas bro? out there. Yeah, all, I'm you serious, serious bro? bro. All my niggas that's carving niggas up with this with the with the knives and shit. They ain't got the tools. Shout out to all my UK. I sold the pack, the loot, the heart. I listen to X. Shout out to all my li- come on, man. <laughs> come on, y'all. And then number ten is Charlotte, another hood. Oh, I was gonna say Charlotte. North wow, Carolina, that's hard. Man. North that's Carolina. hard. My Bobcats. That's hard. Shout out, yeah, shout out to my NC niggas. Niggas said the Bobcats. The Bobcats ain't been in years. <laughs> I know. So I said, shout out to my Bobcats ass niggas, my nigga. Shout yeah, out to my Bobcats. Yeah, man, that's a nice little list right there, man. I already know who might be responsible for the NC. Shout out to my little brother for sure. Shout out to the NC, man. That shit shout was fun. I was NC, like, that's, that's cool checking analytics and seeing who really fuck with us. Because, you know, when we got this shit, when we getting these packs out there, we got to know who to hit first. You feel me? Like, yeah, facts, facts, facts. You know facts, I mean? facts. And just, just for clarification, just for clarification, not to cut y'all off. Nigga, we love Jersey. We love Jersey folk, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we, we definitely love, love Jersey folk. You know what I mean? We love every city. There's no, you know, we just talking about the landscape. This is this is this is a drug related. <laughs> the landscape drug, is crazy out there. Drug related podcast, right? But let me tell y'all niggas something. It's cracking the eighties. We ain't gonna stench on no DC niggas. I'm not giving. Oh, come on, come on. We're not not, not moving like sun. You know what I'm saying? We're not giving. I'm not. We love the DMV too, man. We love the DMV. What that nigga? What that nigga Apple say? Nigga, so I give y'all DC. I ain't giving up all of them. <laughs> yeah, we, ain't, we, ain't, we ain't giving some niggas like that, man. Yeah, hell no. Hell Shout out no, to the man. listeners, man. Like, that's fire. We got fan. We I got family out there for sure. I'm trying to see out. who out in the UK bumping us. Like, they, you know what I'm saying? UK, bro. Shout out the whole bruv. East Coast, for sure. Yeah, we definitely. That shit is definite. I mean, yeah, we got East, East Coast, Coast in the, the South. Hell we got, yeah, the hell, nah, yeah, we got the East Coast and the South. We on the East Coast other South. The like, real East Coast, too. Charlotte, North Carolina, PA, nigga. Atlanta. Baltimore, Atlanta. Like, that whole hard. I-95 going down, that's nigga. Hard. We touching that's all hard. them niggas. Them we packs. Y'all, you know what I mean? With, with them, I, I, I ain't going to drop a nigga name. Y'all going to see when we get this merch going on. But the, them niggas was, was touching all them cities, man. Nah, facts, facts though, facts though. And then, facts, and this merch is just gonna make make more sense when this shit touch down, man. Nah, real shit, real shit. Shout out to oh, shout out to all my niggas, man. I stole the pack, the loose. <laughs> we got a lot of pack. We got we got we got a pack coming for y'all, man. We got a pack coming for the people, the oh, crack lot familiar. You crack rock I mean? lock, man. Yeah, facts, man. I'm, I'm I'm happy about that. That was that was that made my day just now. Crack, crack. Come on, man. Come on, man. Can we we go from here, man? What we got? Let's see, man. Oh, I got a question for y'all niggas. This might take us into the next segment or... Ask that question, B. Ask that question, B. Let me get the question. Let me get y'all niggas. (laughs) Let me get this question, son. (laughs) Nah, I mean, hold on. Hold on, God. Hold on, God. Let me check today's mathematics. That nigga, so you know I spoke to your pops. He told me he was a (laughs) knucklehead-ass nigga. (laughs) (laughs) Need to go to the boss or something, man. 
Yeah, what would y'all what do y'all think? And this this could be a question or just a topic too, and just in terms of um how we view content nowadays. So you know, you got shows that are premiere on YouTube, well, on uh Hulu, Netflix, Peacock, Paramount, wherever the fuck it might be, Amazon Prime, streaming, streaming era, you know what I mean? Where you could just go in, boom, binge, watch a whole show in one day if you need to. Two, three days, you watch the whole show. Ten episodes. Five, six, seven, eight episodes. Versus a show like BMF Power. Motherfucking Breaking Bad when it was on TV. Walking Dead when you had to make an appointment to watch the TV. You know what I mean? Come on every week, same time, same day. You got to make sure you free to watch it that day or you're going to get spoilers. You might not be able to keep up with what's going on. What do y'all think is better? Appointment TV or the binging culture that we got nowadays? What do you think is best for the show? What do you prefer and why? It's a it's a it's a double edged sword because let me tell you something. Okay. Talk to me, talk to me, God. I mean when it was appointment TV, it was better content. On TV. At that time, you had the wire, Sopranos, Dave Chappelle, Martin. You know what I'm saying? It's the, it was a lot of high grade content. No mid, no mid, no mid, no mid. No Reggie. Down to cartoons. Down to cartoons. It was no mid. Yeah, it was all type of. I'm listening. It was listening all types shit. of peak Hollywood shit going on. So, with the streaming shit, it's a lot of mid. There's still some great content with the streaming shit. Don't get me. Don't get it fucked up. But is it the same as back in the day? Hell to the N-O. Nah. I don't think anything is the same, to be honest. Like, with anything, bro. Like, I was just talking to one of the homies about, uh, off on a tangent, the NBA. Just in general. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that rush I used to get when I turned a basketball game on and see you know, certain teams. Not even my favorite team, nigga. I'm looking at Kobe go against the Celtics. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, Kobe, uh, uh, nigga cooking up. Got 40 cooking in the game. Up. Like, <laughs> niggas, <laughs> niggas is, well, damn, niggas ain't even eat yet. Like, niggas is, you know what I mean? Prime time. We stuck in the TV, like, you know. Yo, that, that's crazy. Music. Even, sports was, even sports was peak back then. That's a fact. Yeah. Yo, even down to football. Everything. I was, I was a crazy forehead. Boxing back, back in them times, bro. The quarterbacks was always the main character of, of, of football, but bro. there was a lot of there was a lot of running backs getting. It getting was mad time. real niggas back then. It was then, mad bro, real niggas. Lead, it was bro. mad. It was mad. Ends, 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 cornerbacks. You get what I'm saying? Now it was now it was, the, now it was officially the quarterback show. Now. Yeah, you got you got some some beastie, you know, guys that do different things here and there. But yeah, now for the most part, it's like. It's the quarterback it's show. The com- the yeah, quarterback it's definitely the QB show. Continue more on that, though, drugs. Let me see what you because I got. I think I got a different take. I think I got a different take. Honestly, uh, music. <laughs> Am I lying with the music? Oh when no, the nigga Luke's album used to drop. Bro, I was literally. I was talking. It was D actually. Shout out to D, man. He he's gonna pull up to the pod. You know, he gonna he gonna pull up. You know what I mean? Fuck with the people and shit like that. Uh, but um. Uh, bro, when niggas' albums used to drop, bro, uh, niggas, that CD, when you going out to get a CD, like, my boy was telling me he caught Bow Wow, like, I was like, bro, I had Bow Wow first two albums, gang, like, the Beware actual the dog, album. come on, man. Like, niggas went out and bought that, like, I had to go buy a Blueprint, like, I had to go, you know what I mean, like, I, w- I went to... To, it was excitement. Get, uh, it was a cer- it was a certain level of excitement to bro, do these was, things. Yeah, and it was a rush too. Like you get the book and the album. You know what I mean? You come to school, you like, yo, bro, bro, y'all niggas got the book and you know what I'm saying? You telling the homies like, yeah, I got the book too. Uh, yeah, booklet, like, yeah. You know what I mean? Now, like what Mar said, the cartoons, bro. It was even. We our favorite cartoons had trading cards. All the cartoons had different type of merches, like merchant, like merchandise, like 
that we were actually interactive with and we brought to school. Niggas was battling. I'll take you one further, nigga. Wrestling, nigga. They had action figures. Yeah, bro. Niggas was bringing a whole ring to school. <laughs> Not a facts. I, I remember a nigga. I remember niggas pulling out the book bag, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nigga had no oh, books in that shit. Fuck school for the day, nigga. Straight wrestling is today, nigga. Oh. Miss Miss Shirley, we not we not learning about language arts today, ma. Stone Cold and Undertaker is facing off, bitch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck all that. About? What we talking about, bro? Don't 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 get me started with the wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Because prom time, niggas was glued to the TV. My take is, I can't necessarily say binging culture got worse shows. It's just, we watching them so fast, we don't even get the chance to really like them shits. I feel like if a show like Vince Staples' show, I fuck with it, we fuck with it, but if... And any name, insert any show, I hate to name Vince show as like the example. Insert any show that we fuck with that binge. If we had to, had no choice but to watch this shit every week, we'd like this shit more. We'd talk about it more. We'd have a whole week to talk about the episodes, what happened. We might catch a rerun. We might... In- like what Issa Rae did with Insecure. Yeah, I think it's just... it's it, it, What my take is, I think this binging culture hurts... Just like it does in music, it hurts me, uh, TV shows and shit too. Like, you know what I mean? This is why the writer's strike started. Niggas ain't even getting paid off this shit like they should back in the days when niggas was, you had to watch every week. You had to tune in. You had to get a TV guy, nigga, and see what channel what channel this motherfucker was coming on. It's because, yeah, it's in a lot of people, you got to think, just like everything else, a lot of people grow like kind of just you after, grow to like, like time go, yeah you condition it's all conditioning yeah. like you program you know what i'm saying like it's like a thing where you just come back to and you the demand and especially like, the time of, output like yeah, yeah mm-hmm. go ahead, go ahead. especially the time in your life that you have if you're working in a job or you're in fucking high school or school any school you don't want to be left out with what niggas is talking about at your function, at your job, at your school. So you're going to tune in. You're going to be more invested because you want to, you might want to kick it to this shorty that she might have told you, you she into a show. Now you you up every night watching this show because you just want to have a conversation with the with shorty. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's different. Like, I don't want to say one is better because obviously the shows back then were more peak. But I mean, we got shows nowadays. We, we fuck with power. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's an appointment television show. Like imagine if if a show like Snowfall was on Netflix and you had to watch it on your own leisure. You know what I mean? I think even with binging, you choose when you watch, so you may not even be invested as much as if it's on TV one time and you miss it if you don't watch the shit. You know what I mean? Like imagine if Snowfall was on Netflix and you could just watch the shit whenever the fuck you want. I don't think it would be as you know what I mean, niggas would fuck with it as much. It would be still fire, but eh, it would be a little bit diluted is all I'm saying. I don't know, man. But going back to the music, my nigga Q, Q said the same thing. Yeah, y'all fuck with y'all heard Q new album, Blue Lips. Y'all I ain't get it? I ain't get the chance to bump it how I want to yet. I can't wait. Oh man. Wait. Did did y'all well see have you heard any of the music or any of anything from it? Any singles? You know, he was dropping every week before the album came out. Videos is like a I intentionally, I intentionally didn't. Yeah, I, did, I ignored the I ignored the singles. And all that. I did hear, I heard pop with Rico Nasty. How you? What you think? Amazing, amazing, bro. He's like, back. He's back, cripping hard body. This is his best album. To me, by far, this shit, this shit, all right. best by far, and he so know. he was on. He went on Twitter. You know, what I mean, he back active. He out here. He's he's full album mode. He gave a list of what he think his top his all of his albums. He ranked them basically. He got six albums. He put them all in order, and he also mm-hmm. spoke about going back before going too much off of the binging culture about just where the state of music is right now. He had a lot to say about that shit, but. 
Let me try to find what he said about that, and then I can... Well, let me give you out an order of what he said about why... Um, Wait, you know, where is this at? This is on his Twitter. This is on his Twitter page. He gave explanations of every album and why he picked it, too. He went from six to five uh, to one. He put blue ch- his new shit, Blue Lips, he put at number one. He put Blank Face, uh, Blank Face LP at number two. Habits and Contradictions, he put at three. Oxymoron, he put at four. Crash Talk, he put at five. And then he put Setbacks at six. And I can, let me read a little bit of each one that he picked. So Setbacks, you know, that was his first album. He said, I barely started rapping, you could tell. Fine on myself, but was pretty good for only rapping about four or five years. Punch was smart from sign, for signing me. Then he went to Crash Talk. Was chasing the first week number, shaking my head. Album has highs, though. To be honest, some of my best rapping, even though it wasn't my standards personally. Still good, though. I really feel that about Crash Talk. I didn't really fuck with that album. I'm, I'm keeping the book. I didn't he had like the shit with Chop Six with Travis. He was looking for the single just because of where music was at that point. Yeah. Oxymoron. Oxymoron should have been higher. That's one of my favorites. I seen him perform these songs live and shit. He said, Four? Shocking, I know. A lot of pop records. It was my choice. I love Outkast and said, why not? I mean, this album is extremely good, and I'm still living off this album, literally. That thing killed me with this album. Uh... The thing, no, the thing that killed me with this album was having to make a Target version, Best Buy version, Apple exclusive, and a deluxe. Mind you, this is when CDs and shit was still in stores. You're right, facts. Like what, like, what the fuck? But still, the 12 songs is damn near classic, in my opinion. Break the Bank is probably one of my favorite Schoolboy Q songs ever, bro. That Alchemist beat? Man of the Year is still one of his best songs, too. Yeah, and that's like his quote-unquote pop shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Three, Habits and Contradictions. This is the shit with Crush a bit, little bit, roll it up. Come on, man. Heat is on here. My hate and joint. I, I, I just started smoking weed when this album came out. So I remember this shit for sure. Jeez. He said... Uh, that was that era, man. That was that era. We was on the roof sipping 40s and shit, nigga. Smoking mad fronto. I'm throwing up on train tracks and shit yeah, <laughs> to this album, that nigga. That was, that was, that was that this. That era for sure. He said, bro, I figured it out. Made a hit indie, hands on the wheel, blessed, oh my god. There you go, so many highs. Nightmare on Fig, Sacrilegious, Raymond 1968, head samp- uh, Porter's head samples. I don't know how I pulled this off on God, but 8 out of 10 for me. Take away maybe three songs, but I don't know. Damn near flawless in my opinion. This album made me who I am, Oxy Music. This is when he was heavy on the drugs and shit. Number yeah. two. Blank Face LP. After dropping pop records, I didn't want to get boxed in. Was told this album wasn't ready yet. Yeah, fuck my head up, almost ruined me. Was told that part flopped. That part with the shit with Kanye? That part, yeah. that part, ooh! He, to- he was told that part flopped. Fuck my head up. I stayed down, had a so-called bad first week for 2016 standards. Somehow album just connected like two months later. That part went super duper platinum and literally blank face a classic. I don't care what y'all say. It is. I didn't like it at first because people told me the whole way. Yeah, this he was ain't saying it. That. Yeah. One of the most creative gangster rap albums I ever. This album going gold felt better than Oxy's platinum. I and definitely he, remember him saying that. Yeah, he 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 definitely. And that's he went away after that. Remember, like he went away mm-hmm. for a little bit. Then boom, Nigga, break it to Blue cute. Lips. Come on, man. <laughs> And then when y'all hear this album, I really want y'all to check this shit out, bro. It's, to me, it's his best. And I ain't gonna say it's my favorite yet, because I'm still sitting with it, but he's elite rapping. Beats are, like, up there in terms of quality, samples. It sounds like his, what would have been a damn or a good kid, Mad City. Yeah, bro. Yeah. He goes, it's early, but, how I feel, but it's how I feel today. It could change. I mean, bro, y'all never heard me rap like this. Album been done for real for years, to be real. I just didn't know mm-hmm. where it would fit in this circus of bullshit and algorithms, so I made my bed and chose art. I'm too good to let my talent go to waste over a viral moment. I'm 37 and I'm still hungry. I honestly don't think about nobody. I don't, honestly don't think nobody can fuck with me, to be real. I always find new pockets, and I've been nervous before, but never scared. I'm one of them ones. I'm e is easy. I made this album for artists thinking about. I made this album for artists thinking people don't want dope shit no more. 
I stayed away from interviews on purpose coming into this album and just kept it music. I got interviews lined up now to go more in depth, but yeah, ignore the circus because it's getting weird. Music needs music. Music needs effort. Blue Lips. And that's getting back to the algorithm bullshit and, you know what I mean, the streams and... Niggas don't care about that shit. Niggas want to hear that real music, bro. I think that's where a lot of the artists we fuck with got lost in that game, bro. Like, they thought they needed to get into that algorithm or because that's what was going on at the time. Drop that heat, and, bro. And you still competing. It's always a competition. Still competing. So you still trying to get that number one spot. Drop and that heat, man. That's what niggas care about. Stay yourself. Be yourself. Like, you know, think the what Ben was, like, killing shit, like. And then I wait till y'all hear this shit, and y'all gonna see. Yeah, <laughs> y'all niggas gonna see, man. Yo, listen, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this before we even like get into like you know this whole uh, topic. Um, Q, you 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 are crazy, but not liking anything that you have dropped, my nigga. Because I ain't been going lie for a hot second. You were above Kendrick to me. <sighs> And that's that's Talk not to it. pin them. That's not to pin them uh, against each other. Cause I K dot was always K dot. Like nigga, I, I, OD always fucked with K dot. It never been a time where I you know didn't fuck with Kendrick. So, but Q, I, bro, his music for me, man, that boy, that boy always been spitting. Like I don't even care. Like what level of lyricism niggas is talking about like to me the nigga has been always rapping better than a lot of niggas still like he he bro from from his first album like to me like all all, all the way on like he's always been elite like so man like i i can't wait to bump this album dog yeah i can't wait bro. It's one of them. Like, I, like since it came out, I ain't stopped bumping it since. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm about to just just from him, you reading that tweet and going over his older out. Like, I want to literally go listen to fucking. Uh, oh my god, man! Like, it's, it's and then you re- when he said that, like, you realize the catalog niggas that we fuck with got catalogs now. Like, niggas is deep with the albums. Nah. Nigga Ma's playing with cans again. That's yeah. not me. That's this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, blame blame the dog. Yeah, we know. Yeah, nah, but tr- trust me, check that. That Q dropping this made me retake it. I'm glad rethink, and I'm glad we didn't bring this to the pod, but that whole little Dreamville vs. TDE take that I had, I'm gonna hold off on that for now. <laughs> Hold off on that for now, my guy. I ain't gonna lie. Hold off on that one for a little bit longer. I mean, I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna I'm just say, I gotta go back to Oxymoron before I bump Blue Lips real quick. I gotta listen to shit like... I just gotta run Man of the Year. I, I wanna hear His and Her Fiend. Like, that probably was bank. his and her fiend. Yeah, oh my god, his and her fiend was my favorite. Like that was probably one of my favorite Q songs. Like, still is. Like, uh, I can't explain the connection I have with the song, but bro, that song is fucking amazing. It's amazing to me, bro. It's amazing to me, bro. To show that he was one of them ones, man. He definitely Shout out one to of Q, them bro. ones. Let's see what else we got, man. Mars, you want to talk about Final Fantasy at all? I know that shit drop. I ain't get into it yet, so it is what it is. <laughs> I get into it next episode. I have a, I have a clear review. Damn voice. I ain't Damn get into voice. it yet. I ain't get into it yet. You know what I'm saying? Say less. Say less. I ain't, uh, what, that nigga, what that nigga Jason Terry said? You gotta uh, stick it to him, stick it to they, stick it to they D, and uh, suck the D in. He said some wild <laughs> shit. He said, some, he said some wild shit. We just had to stick it to him, suck the D in, make sure yeah, they did. Yeah, he said I, some I, wild I, shit. I ain't Jason Terry yet. Jason Terry, I'll let y'all know. Bad, bad. Say less. Say less. Uh. 
Remember when niggas? Remember when not having a memory card for PlayStation was like a real thing? You had to start the shit over every time you played the shit. That was a that was a wild fucking time. That wasn't PlayStation. PlayStation always came memory cards. That was uh take your Genesis and all that. Nah, nigga, PlayStation didn't always have memory. Co- I mean, it did, but you didn't always have. I didn't always have a memory card. Like they existed, but I didn't always have one. You know what I mean, I was playing that shit without memory cards for a long time. Maybe, maybe shit. Maybe it was just me. I remember playing. No one memory cards existed, but nigga, I ain't have one. Like, or I ain't think to ask for one or none of that shit. Like, I was playing games like motherfucking, not Torok. What's the other uh, Dino Crisis and shit, nigga? Like, classic. Having having to start this bitch over every time I start the game. Like, I I honestly think I was at that point. I didn't know memory cards existed. I didn't know what they were for. Like, I would play, and I would hear about memory cards. I just thought that's how the game was supposed to be played on some Super Mario shit. You start the shit over every time you playing. Ah, shit, I ain't know, but... Shout out to Games Advance and to where you could fucking... I'm about to get Game Pass back. I ain't gonna lie, they got Madden on that shit now. I've been wanting to play Madden for mad long for years. Last Madden I played was probably like Madden 2016 with Odell on the cover. Whatever one that was, 2017. Years ago, this this uh this uh this Madden uh sorry it's cool. I mean shit, if it's on Game Pass, I'm gonna fuck with it. They got some other shit I seen on there. Starfield is still on there. I ain't played that yet. I want to check that. Starfield, out. I haven't cracked yet. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell going on. Yeah, what's going Man, on right here? Shit check remind me out. of um fuck. What was that game, bro? Bioshock. Oh, Bioshock was hard. Bioshock was hard, but you you get where I'm going with that. Dead Space, one of them games and shit. Yeah. It's mad nigga shit going asleep. on. Nigga fall asleep, wake up, same level. Nigga, <laughs> nigga, nigga cracking open a medicine box. Uh, man, what's in this shit? Ain't nothing yeah. in there. Nigga knocking yeah. shit over. Ding, yeah. ding. You Doing gotta check every shit. cabinet just because you might miss some shit. Eh, you gotta slap shit, see if it break. <laughs> Stomp yeah. on shit, yeah, yeah, punch yeah. shit, shoot a ops. You know what I'm saying? One of them you know, games, yeah. Shoot a Hadouken. Yeah, what's up with this Hell Divers too? You put you you had this on the topic list. I ain't I ain't familiar. Ah, Hell Divers too, man. I, to be honest with you, I don't know that much on it as of yet. Uh, I was supposed to research a bit more. I've been watching niggas on Twitch um, play it. Uh, it kind of it's a PlayStation. It's it's a PlayStation. Uh, PC, I think, uh, mm-hmm. game, and you go play online with your uh, friends and shoot monsters and AI robots. And heard it's pretty yeah. fucking fun. It's only forty dollars. So. That shit is mad. That shit looks so exciting, bro. Like, yeah, it's you know what movie. Bro. What's the movie? What's the movie? Was it Star Troopers? Star Wars. Yo, <laughs> nah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, it's Star Troopers. It's that the game. It's Star Troopers the game. Uh, is is it called Star? Is is that the whole name of it? Star. Yeah, Star, Star Troopers. Yeah, with the oh, with yeah, yeah, on yeah. that planet with them with them crazy ass monsters and shit. Wasn't it's, uh, com- it's a comedy slash like parody of like other war movies and shit. Yep, my son yeah. from what's the name was in there. Uh, Starship yeah. Troopers. You're yeah, talking about? Yeah, Starship. Oh, yeah, yeah. I knew it was yeah. Neil, Neil Patrick yeah. Harris is in Neil Patrick. Shit. That's yeah. who uh, my son was in there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's it's that, it's that, it's that. Realistically, okay, okay. That yeah, movie is funny as hell, though. A lot of love, a lot of love. Check that shit out. Okay, I see my nigga Kang playing this shit on Twitch the other day. I, I couldn't join his shit though. That shit was tweaking on my phone, but niggas is playing it. So I mean, I'm into it. Yeah, Twitch don't work unless you got Wi-Fi. I'm gonna get it on PC for sure. Who ain't got Wi-Fi nowadays? No, I'm saying you can't watch Twitch outside in the streets. Oh, for real? Facts. Twitch only works on Wi-Fi. That's what kind of gay shit is that? The fuck? No idea. I was definitely at the bar when I was trying to tune into that shit too. That shit told me that shit said no. That shit just said N O on the screen. I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't watch. You can't. You you need Wi-Fi for Twitch. That shit told me, nah, nigga, you good? I never tried to go on Twitch outside. That shit told me go home, nigga. Like, get your ass in the crib. Nah, Twitch, Twitch is so loud, bro. I should, I should. 
I'll be watching niggas play Mortal Kombat. Yeah, Twitch is cool. You could just jump around different rooms and shit. I was twitching for a little bit, you know what I mean? I had the itch. I might get back yeah, on man, I'm on there, bro. I'll be, you know, uh, you know, broadcasting hey, drop, some drop of my link, games man. Okay. I ain't never seen one link yet. Hey, man. I got you, man. Drop the links, hey, man. Bus. Drop the links. Drop the I'm links, King. I'm waiting for bars. Bars need to, you know what I mean? I'm trying to, I'm trying to tune into them games too, like. Yeah, man, them shits are I only be on Two K and GTA right now. I mean, worry, worry, worry. I got, I got a surprise. I got, a, I got a surprise for y'all this weekend. Don't worry. Oh shit! Say less, man. So that shit. Bitch. I'm working on merch all week, nigga. I'm thinking about copping the iPad now. Niggas got merch for sale. Yo, what we talking about? We're talking about merch covers so. It's got merch for sale. If y'all niggas are on YouTube, y'all see what I got on right now. Hey. Package. Message. Niggas see what's going on, man. We got bricks, nigga. Bricks. Niggas is moving packs, man. Shout out to yeah, shout out to them on. people. Yeah, for sure. Shout out to them ones, man. Hey, listen. Y'all gonna fuck with these shirts for sure. We got, you know, we working on other things. But y'all gonna fuck with these ones for sure, man. This 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 is gonna be it. I'm looking forward to, you know, getting the people uh opinions and you know, support. I'm I'm focused on feedback. getting the people excited. To me, at yeah, this but point, I like I like I I enjoy feedback, obviously positive. Ne- negative is cool too. Cause I don't really take nothing that serious, but you know, all of it is inspiration. Like remember what Mars was saying, Oh, was it Mars? Yeah. Mars said, you know, he was like, he liked to hear, you know, people, you know, that fuck with us, like that support, like that positive, that positivity, like we need that, man. We need all that energy. We trying to give all that out. So we are giving that out. So, you know, we, it's only right we receive it and it's just beautiful to see how karma actually works like i feel that i'm on a whole different time with that shit though now bro i ain't gonna lie i love i believe in karma i'm with karma i don't give a fuck about opinions no more gang i'm being straight up nah 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 you nah not in that not in that way bro it's more so i'm talking about like I said, the positive niggas, like the niggas that the support, you know, that show love, like, you know, even the niggas on the YouTube that comment, like all of that fuels me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even without it, I still keep going. Like, you know, I'm nigga, we, we've been going. That's, that's not an option. I'm just saying those things, even when, uh, when I was, you know, putting the music out, and shit like that. Like, I always used to say stuff like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just kind of seeing how people may take on the, the art, you know? Like, bro, like, that's that's cool, man. Like, something beyond just an emoji. That's fire. You sat there and typed words, gang? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, at that, like, see, I, I, thing, that I like, fuck with. Yeah, I fuck with this that. Is a, this is, like... I that I you know I, I you know my it my gives perspective life to on your things creativity. is just, right, bro. It gives it, life to something that started as an idea in your head. I I get it. I, I get yeah, it. Bro. I'm, I agree me. with you. You know what you saying, bro? Like, nigga, come on, bro. Like, bro, I don't give a fuck about that. That I never give a fuck about that. Like, that's not. That's not. You know. And I don't, I don't see that in my on my, on my planet, gang. Like that's in my world, like it's all love. Like we 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 good. Like you know what I mean. And you know, just f- feeling that that energy come back to me, come back to us. You know, that's 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 all I I appreciate, bro. That's that, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, nah, I feel you. I feel you. Nah, that's. It does feel good when, you know what I mean? Like I said, all these shit start as ideas in your head and put it yeah, out there. Bro. Like I a said, seed. everything is, is something is, you got to manifest the shit. Like, we've been trying to get merch done for a minute. It just takes, like, let me take a few minutes 
it only take a few minutes. As much as I'm like the shit I'm wearing now, the shit we made, it was an idea that turned into a few minutes of let me see how I could do this shit. To the shit getting done. You know what I mean? Like it always takes the idea and then the effort to make sure it happens. Cause the idea without effort ain't shit. You know what I mean? Like niggas got ideas every day. We just them niggas to create ideas like nothing. Them shit's flow every day. It's putting the work in to make sure that shit becomes a tangible thing to when then. Just like this podcast. Niggas show us love. We get comments on YouTube. We got motherfuckers in London all across the East Coast listening to this shit. If this shit stayed as just an idea and we ain't put the work in to make sure it's on YouTube, make sure it's out every week, it wouldn't mean shit. Like, it ain't nothing at that point. But that's where the point that I I like. Like, when motherfuckers respect and respond to that shit. Because... It takes work. It ain't just easy. It ain't just an idea and, oh, it's done just because we had the thought. It's like, nah, nigga, like, it really takes some work, too, which everybody don't want to work. You know what I mean? Everybody don't want to take the time to do shit. That's what I fuck. I, f- I fuck with that because I know the work that we put in to do this type shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. I fuck with that for sure. Like, niggas that don't watch, don't do, don't say they support but all that like it i don't hate or like they don't mean nothing or like they don't phase me but i just know that there's so many more people out in the world that they that small percentage that's not showing love or not doing whatever it like it's is indifferent to me at this point it's like oh, okay cool it don't affect me at all I think that's a good spot to end right there, man. We done gave the people, yeah. gave the people this this crack, man. We about to drop off some more packs. I'm about to go re up with the big homie. You know what I mean? Big homie just called me up, said to pull up. He got some things for me. We about to go handle a little business. What y'all got, man? What y'all got coming up? What y'all want to tell the people? What's, what's just look out for the merch. And... Cracking the eighties podcast dot com. Yeah, cracking eighties, cracking eighties podcast dot com. That's it, man. Go, man. Check it out. Check take it us out. out of here, man. Check it. Take it. Take it. Take us out. Alright, you bitch ass niggas, get the fuck out of here for niggas boom you, man. Just look at that. And you stand. Fuck. And your and your bitch owe me some money, man. Pay her tab before we pull up. Facts. Clear of the closing doors, please.